Hi everyone, this is Sunil Sharma boy here from Speed Maths. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to multiply numbers with different bases. Well, I have already made videos on how to multiply numbers with base 100. And there is one more video on how to multiply numbers above and below the base 100. I would request you to pause the video and check out those videos links are posted in the description below do check out those videos because the method and approach is exactly similar to it so guys if you have gone through those videos let's begin with this tutorial so guys let's take an example where the base is 10 so let me take two numbers which is very close to 10 let's say 13 and 14 now the next step is to find the difference of each number with the base 10. So if you observe 13 is 3 more than 10 and 14 is 4 more than 10. Step 2 is to take the product of the differences and here the product has to be single digit. Why? It depends on the number of zeros in the base. If the base has 1 zero, the product has to be single digit. If the base has 2 zeros, the product has to be double digit and so on and so forth. Now here our base is 10, it has 1 zero, so the product has to be a single digit. So 3 into 4 is 12 which is a double digit so we'll write the unit place as it is in this case it is going to be 2 so we'll write 2 as it is and we are going to carry forward the tenth place which is 1 step 3 diagonally we are going to add or subtract depending upon the sign now here the sign is plus so diagonally we are going to add 13 and 4 or you can also diagonally add 14 and 3 in this case i'm going to add 13 and 4 so 13 plus 4 will give you 17 and adding the carry forward we get 17 plus 1 which is 18 so 13 into 14 will give you 182 i hope you have understood this one let's move on to the next one now let's take multiplication based on base 20 now solving with base 20 is similar to base 10 just that we need to know here 20 is just 2 into 10 so we need to remember the factor over here is 2 otherwise the steps are essentially same so let's take an example so let's say we would like to multiply 23 and 26 steps are same 23 is 3 more than 20 and 26 is 6 more than 20. Step 2 take the product of these two differences and the product has to be a single digit. So 3 into 6 is 18. So keep 8 as it is and carry forward 1. And diagonally we are going to add. So 23 plus 6 will give you 29. Guys, here comes a very very important part. Now, since the base is 20, we know the factor is 2 because 2 times 10 is going to be 20. So we are going to use that factor. 2 over here after diagonally adding 23 and 6 we know the answer is 29 we are going to multiply this 29 by the factor so 29 into 2 will give you 58 remember that now let's add the carry forward 1 so 58 plus 1 is 598 so guys 23 into 26 is 598 let's take some other base so let's take base as 30 again the factor over here is 3 so remember that now let's take an example let's say we would like to multiply 34 and 33 so applying the same step 34 is 4 more than 30 33 is 3 more than 30 take the product of 4 and 3 it has to be a single digit so 4 into 3 is 12 so we'll keep 2 and carry forward 1 now let's diagonally add 34 and 3 which will give you 37 and remember to multiply this 37 by the factor which is 3 so 37 into 3 will give you 111 and then add the carry forward 1 which will give you 112 so you can see multiplying with any base is more or less similar to base 10 just that we need to remember the factor over here so let's move on with the next one so let's take example with base 50 now here you should know that 50 is 5 into 10 so factor over here is 5 let's take the numbers as 53 and 48 now 53 is 3 more than 50 and 48 is 2 less than 50 now observe product of 3 and minus 2 will give you minus 6 now we can't have minus 6 for timing let us keep as it is now 53 and minus 2 diagonally since the sign is minus we are going to subtract them so 53 minus 2 will give you 51 and remember to multiply this 51 by the factor and the factor over here is 5 so 51 into 5 is 2 Five, five. now friends we need to get rid of that negative sign over there so how do we do that we have already learned in my previous videos wherein we have multiplied how to multiply numbers above and below the base we are going to take the same approach i would request you to go through that video if you have not gone through no problem i'll explain you once again now in order to remove that negative sign we are going to borrow one from the left hand side and it will be considered as 10 on the right hand side so since we are borrowing one we need to subtract one from the left hand side and we need to add 10 to the right hand side so let me write minus one 
and 10. So 255 minus 1 will give you 254 and plus 10 and minus 6 will give you 4. So 53 into 48 will give you 2544. I hope you have understood the approach. Let's take one more example. Let's say the base is 20 and we know the factor is going to be 2. Let's say we would like to multiply 24 and 17. Very quickly, 24 is 4 more than 20 and 17 is 3 less than 20. And 4 into 3 will give you negative 12. We'll take care of that negative sign later. Now diagonally, 24 minus 3 will give you 21. And we need to multiply this 21 by the factor which is 2. So 21 into 2 will give you 42. So we'll write 42 here. Now friends, if I try to borrow 1 from the left hand side just like the previous one, here I will have 10 on the right hand side which is not sufficient to remove the negative sign. So instead of borrowing 1, I'm going to borrow 2 from the left hand side. So I will have to subtract 2 from the left hand side and I will have to add 20 to the right hand side so guys i hope you have understood the approach how to remove the negative sign now here we simply add 42 minus 2 will give you 40 and 20 and minus 12 give you 8 so 24 into 17 is 408 friends i hope you have enjoyed learning this multiplication technique with me do share it and do hit like button and i'll see you in my next video till then take care peace